not too verbal today, are you not? <laughs> After most of what you've thrown at me, feeling my bones shatter is starting to get repetitive. So, why not continue your story earlier, friend? I have no need to. The information you have now is more than enough to keep with you. You're nothing more than a soul under my reign, not a companion. Therefore, you have all you need. Sure. Keep believing that. I know that there's more to you than you let on, and I don't mind making friends, even to those who want me dead. I have no desire to make companionship with you. You are nothing more than a chore I've been assigned with. Once done, I will just return home with no care for what has happened here. Sure? That doesn't sound like a partnership between workers, does it? You're beginning to contradict yourself, Sarah. That matters not on your opinion. My only desire is to get this done with. I will not throw away the chance put at my door. Yeah, one of the Such a chattermouth, isn't he? I'm surprised you're letting him speak so freely. Considering you never let your other prey do so. This place is quiet. I pay no mind to his words. I just like the sound of another voice. Screaming does not fill the need for conversation. I am not like you. I am human. We enjoy the sound of voices, even if not to listen to such. You could say that again. <laughs> you are right about one thing, yes. I am nothing like you. But don't get attached. You humans are quite notorious for that. I've seen that. I share no attachment. I just keep them around for white noise. Until the two that you stated arrive. And I get what was promised to me. <laughs> you better hope that. Remember who's in charge here. I don't take kindly to liars. I am aware. Now allow me to continue my job. Very well then. Don't mess this one up, Sarah. Understand what I'm saying? That was not something a business partner would do, Sarah. You're being manipulated by that bastard. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You have lost your privilege to speak today. <laughs>